Hello and welcome to a Blender 3D Navigating the Viewport tutorial by Firebird854. In this lesson, I will be going over how to move about the viewport utilizing the mouse and keyboard. Okay, this is the viewport right here. It's this big block in the middle, and you, you have your scene set up. You have your camera here, your light over here, and an object. This is just the basic cube sitting in the middle. Now, first thing we're going to want to do is just rotate a little around that center point. So we're just going to hold in the middle mouse button and scroll around, just move around that mouse on the table, and you get some interesting views. It's really hard to do this on, well, without a mouse, say you're on a laptop, not going to be the e easiest thing. So anyways, we're just moving around the viewport, no problem, can go upside down. Now, press shift and middle mouse button, and you can kind of grab the screen with the middle mouse button, and you can click it, move your mouse to kind of drag the whole screen back and forth. That's kind of interesting. Now we're going to go over the number pad. The number pad is a really useful element of your keyboard. If you don't have one, if you're trying to use this on a keyboard or a computer that doesn't have one, it is kind of difficult. You may have to use the FN keys, or you may have to just remap the hotkeys under the preferences settings. So anyways, we're going to start with number pad key 1. 1 will take you to a front view, and then 3 will take you to a side view. 7 will take you to a top view. So sometimes though you want to get to the other side of these views. So let's go back to 1, hit number pad key 1. Now press control number pad key 1. Now press control number pad key 3. Now press control number pad 3 7. And you can see that pressing control and hitting this option will make it so you can turn from looking on top or on the bottom of it. Now we're going to try another one, number pad key 0. If you hit that, you're taken over to the camera view, and then that's the camera that your renders are chopped from. And you can actually hit shift F, and you can move this around, you can move around your camera. In fact, in any view, say you're over here for instance, you can always just hit shift F, and start just moving around your view almost as if it's a video game. This works great for tracking animations. You can just set these to hotkeys and you can just uh, zoom in on the middle mouse button to move around faster and faster. However, it's really easy to get kind of lost in this, especially if you have a lot of stuff going on in your scene. You soon find yourself really far away or really disoriented or not at an angle that you like, but it, it works in some ways. So anyways, just click anywhere on the screen to stop it, and then you can just move around again. Another option to explore is zooming in and out. So you zoom in by scrolling forward on the middle mouse button, you zoom back out by scrolling backwards on the middle mouse button, and you can do that in combination with others to really get a good view and a good look at certain aspects of it. If I wanted to look at the corner of this object, for instance, I can move right on over there, no problem, inspect it however I want. Okay, now that we have a good grasp of the viewport and navigating around, something good to know is perspective and orthographic. Perspective is the view that we're looking in right now. The objects closer to us are bigger, and the objects closer to us or farther away are smaller. And that's how perspective works. It's how we see as human beings. However, we can turn that off because this is our own world and we control it. If you press the number 5 in your number pad, it turns it into orthographic view, where everything is the same. It is all equalized. It is all perfect, which is really nice when modeling with some precision. So if we press 7, go to the top view, we can see that nothing is overlapping. I'm just going to tab and press Z quick just to give you a little demonstration. If I press 5 again, you're going to see a little issue right here with these vertices. That's what these little dots are. So if you see these vertices, they're not overlapping how they should be. So, I'm just going to press 5 again, and then there it, is. there it is. They're back on top of each other, easily selectable, no problem. So, that's the difference between perspective and orthographic, and that concludes this video. I'm um, Firebird854, and I hope you found this useful.